Our flash flood warning continues for Allegheny County and Westmoreland County. This red box here from Pittsburgh to South Park, right up to Greensburg and Murraysville, even Plum Township. And uh, this is where we've had incredible amounts of rainfall. By radar estimates, one to two inches of rain over the past few hours have fallen in this area. It's been a slow moving, uh, heavy rain that is finally starting to push to the east and dip down to the south. So some of the heavier rain is going to be moving towards Mount Pleasant. But this box is where we have our flash flood warning, and this is in a Effect up until 1:30 a.m. So we have a couple hours left on this one, and you can see that right now the heaviest of the rain is in Connellsville, down to Sewickley, Greensburg, seeing some very heavy rain, Youngwood, and areas like uh, Hannestown as well as North Huntington. This is where the heavy rain is, so it's starting to shift outside of that box. But even though that rain is moving out. The water that's already fallen has to move its way to the lowest spot. So sometimes flooding is a little bit uh, behind the actual rainfall. So keep that in mind. If you're doing any traveling in this area, don't try to pass through water covered roadways. We have two cars being uh, uh, two vehicles in water in Irwin and another one in Allegheny County just because of the amount of rain. Sometimes people get stuck in that. Sometimes people try to be in a hurry and pass through it. Something you certainly do not want to do in situations like this. This rain is moving out. We should see some drier air moving in, so it will get better tonight. We just have a couple hours left on that flash flood warning. Now 67 degrees in Pittsburgh, 64 in Butler, Ford City, 68. So temperatures up to the north in the mid to upper 60s. Down south, it's closer to 70 to the mid 70s, as you can even see 75 degrees in Morgantown. There is some fog. You can see that layer of fog already starting to settle in. So keep in mind there will be patchy fog tonight, especially in those areas that have seen that heavy rain. And our temperature and dew point are very close together. We have 67 degrees and a dew point of 65. That gives us 93% relative humidity. When your relative humidity is 100%, the air can't hold on to any more moisture, and you get that fog forming. So that's what we're looking at tonight. Patchy fog, showers and thunderstorms generally ending, but we can't rule out a passing one as we go through the remainder of the night. Cold front trying to get through here, but we have this low that's going to lift in, and as that does so, that's going to bring us additional rain tomorrow. So we're not done with the rain just yet. It shouldn't be quite as heavy as today. However, you can't rule out uh, one or two of those trying to get heavier, but you can see 3 p.m. scattered showers. Most of it looks like the heaviest of the rain off to the east, and then as we get into the evening, this is going to be wrapping up, and I think Thursday overall looks better. Mainly dry conditions. However, a stray shower can't be ruled out with a little upper level disturbance that could give us one of those isolated showers for Thursday and Friday. But again, both those days are looking primarily dry. 65 hit or miss showers tonight. Areas of fog tomorrow. You get those temperatures back in the lower 80s. Scattered thunderstorms, rain showers with peaks of sunshine in between. And over the next several days, you can see Thursday and Friday do look better. Can't rule out that isolated rain those days, but once we get into the weekend, we'll keep those temperatures in the mid 80s. Both days look dry. Lots of sunshine Saturday, partly cloudy skies Sunday and Monday, Tuesday temperatures back in the low to mid 80s. So the soggiest of it is what we had today and what we're getting tomorrow and pretty much everything else is very isolated rainfall with several dry days attached.